Hello! <coughs> Good evening! How are you? Um, not much to report. Weather's a bit more British now, there's been some rain, a bit cooler. Um, not worked today, not being Monday. Um, didn't get the call on Friday like I was expecting, nothing came through on Saturday, so... Sometimes I get called for like first thing in the morning and that didn't happen, so... A bit curious. Not working tomorrow unless I get the call, so... And then if I don't, you know, I'll, I'll call them up and say, Hey, you know, we had some good weeks, what's going on? And then hopefully it'll just be like... I, like I said, I think it could be because my supervisor, the person who normally books me in, isn't in at the moment. So when he gets back, then hopefully I'll, you know, be right back up again. So yeah, uh, today's earrings are a uh, little, little smiley face. Can you see, is that focusing? I don't know. But my ears, I don't know if you can tell from the size, but they are a lot better. <laughs> they are... Uh, are a lot, lot better and if I keep wearing earrings like I said they're kind of um, you know a little bit the cheapy the multi-pack ones but I do have some antiseptic so at the moment I have been wiping my ear obviously and then obviously uh, wiping the stems like the pins on the um, on the earring itself so uh, yeah that's that hopefully should keep everything clean and and no more infection so that's good. That's the good news. Um, otherwise, it's kind of chill. It's kind of mellow. Um, supported a couple of Kickstarters. Uh, playing cards. As I said before, I, I like collecting playing cards. Um, one definitely. One was already at Target, so I'm just like, you know what? That sounds cool. I'm gonna. Mm. I'll do that one. Looks really nice. And another one is two days off Target, and I tried. You know, I, I, I said, I, I will support you. I, here is, here's the prize I want. Thank you very much. And um, I tried to tweet it out to say that, um, hey, guys, here's a thing I did, and, and you might like it too. They're, they're close to completion. And Twitter wouldn't let me post it because they thought it might be, it looked like automated, so it could be spam. Meanwhile, I am muting every company under the sun. I don't like... Because some of the com there's nothing wrong with a lot of the companies. A lot of British, mostly British-born companies, because you know UK Twitter, and they're companies I've heard of and I haven't heard bad things about. I mean, they're probably like company politics or whatever. But you know, no, no reason to boycott them. I just have no interest. So I, I instead of block them, I just mute them because you know I just mute them, so I don't have to see their posts. But you know, whatever. So why is it I can get any number of hundreds and hundreds of Adverts. I don't want. Yes, they're adverts. They're paid promotions. It actually does say it. But when I want to actually manually support a Kickstarter campaign, the literally only has two days. Well, less than two days now. I won't. I can't post it because that's considered spamming or automated or, or whatever. They're trying to protect the people from it. I tried it both because I tried adding a couple of people specifically because I thought they might like it. Mm. And. Um, yeah it wouldn't let me do it i tried it both with the adding and without the adding just like the campaign address and uh, nothing could wouldn't let me do it so that's annoying i have sort of made a tweet to that thing saying hey what the deal so who knows who knows so we'll see what happens but hopefully they'll make target anyway um but yeah there we go i i, I um i included kickstarter and twitter and twitter support in the tweet. I've had nothing, any kind of response in any way yet, but hopefully they'll have seen it. If Kickstarter finds out that people haven't been allowed to tweet, then maybe they'll say something like, hey, you know, people want to try Max May, they're just doing these great projects. But there you go. It's all good. Um, so that's today, really, is um, getting arguments with Twitter. I'm not even people on Twitter. I, I normally try to be apolitical when it comes to Twitter. I like, do my thing, get on with it, you know. And then the same ones to do theirs. But anyway, question time. Okay. That feels like more than... Uh, we're over halfway through the game, but that looks like not many... It probably is. I'm on day 225 out of 360. Oh, hang on, it's 225. 3, 6... Does that mean I've got 140 left? Hmm, maybe that is about right. There he is. Let's uh, let's do the questions. 140 days left. Nice. 
Okay, what are the top five foods you could never get tired of eating? Um, chicken. Uh, I've always said that, because my mum's vegetarian, and sometimes she can be a, be a bit of a nightmare about it. But, you know, vegetarian foods, I've, had, I've tried some, some I, I like them. And I'm like, you know what, I could probably be a vegetarian, I don't intend to eat a lot of red meats anyway. I love chicken, I couldn't live without chicken. You know, so, um, and chicken is very, as you're aware, it's very versatile. You could do a lot with it. Um, so chicken in all its forms, and I know that's cheating, but chicken is, will be, as long as it's got chicken in it, I think that should count. Um, fudge. Love fudge. Uh, I don't, I try not to eat too much of it. Um, partly because it can be a bit pricey. But I've kind of made a rule with myself, because when I do have it, I tend to eat lots of it. This isn't good for, for me or my teeth. Um, so, because I know how to make it, I've got a good re well, I had a good recipe, and then I'd worked all out the proportions and everything, and then uh, somebody wiped it off the board, because I don't know what these numbers are, so you ask! Like, it's my own fault, I probably should have written on a bit of paper, and actually, or taken a photo of it or something, so, the numbers are gone, so the last time I tried to make it, um, I tried to work out the numbers again, like, try to squint at the board and, and work it out, and it wasn't the same! So basically the recipe I've got is perfectly nice. It's a perfectly good recipe. Um, but the amount of um, condensed milk it says to use is slightly less than the amount that I had in the can. So I basically worked out the, the difference and like multiplied it all up and it kept made a really nice recipe. But last time I tried it, after I wiped the board, um, the uh, the, it didn't come out right, it went a bit gooey than normal. But still nice, but a bit gooey, a bit sugary than normal, so, um, yeah. I'll have to revisit that and see if I can fix the recipe again. Also, it's quite tiring because you've got to do a lot of this, a lot, lot, lot of this, and you've got to keep going and, 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 and go some more, and my arm's already starting to hurt, and that's without any, you know, friction, anything else I'm going against, that's just me doing this. Making a fudge is a commitment, which is why, you know, I'm not, if I make it myself, I can eat as much as I want, but I try not to buy it anymore. If somebody else buys it, that's fair enough. Uh, what else? What else? What, vegetables. I mean, uh, I'll be specific and say salad vegetables. Um, because I do like a good salad. And I'm, yes, I'm including tomatoes in there, even though they're technically a fruit. And in fact, isn't cucumber a fruit for the same logic, because it's got seeds in it. Alright, um, salad stuff. Um, can I put can I put a liquid in there? Can I put a drink in there? Because wa is water water a food? Five foods. Um, well, I'll get some water from my vegetables. Uh, so we've had chicken, salad, fudge, cheese. Oh yeah, I'm not I'm not into fancy cheeses. Um, but some cheddar, a bit gouda, edam. Only cheese in the world that was made backwards. Um, could I live without cheese? Nah. I don't think I could. I am avoiding the obvious. I'm not gonna say I can't live without. Ch I'm not gonna say I can't live without chocolate because I think I can live without chocolate, even though I really want to fill the list. Bread. Um. I suppose with that, I, I need some kind of spread as well. But would spread count as food? Right, bread and bar. Because I'm gonna. I'm going to hyphenate it. Bread and bar. Um, Warburton's soft. See the batch is my is my go-to. Um, I'm trying not to eat white bread anymore. Well, they say about oh you should eat white bread because it's not good for you and all that. But when I stopped eating white bread, um, I discovered the Warburton's. Oh, I'll give it a go because I mean I'd kind of be going back and forth a little bit trying different sort of brown breads and seeded batch and stuff and like this. And then like whatever well, white bread was there. And I do have white bread, you know, if I'm around somewhere and that's all I've got. But yeah, I don't white bread to me now is just eh, don't like it. So Warburton seeded batch, but I can eat, you know, other white breads and that if I need to. It's just that'd be my go-to. So bread, salad stuff, chicken, cheese, and fudge. Five items, only one's a sweet treat. So I think I did alright there. So, um, yeah, uh, check, do, if you haven't already, um, feel free to check out my notes review of Ant-Man and the Wasp, um, spoilers, we liked it, 
um, we share thoughts so feel free if you're concerned about spoilers the first few minutes however is spoiler free and then I give you a very distinct warning that there's spoilers and then from then on there will be spoilers for the movie but since it kept, we got it really late this time around probably most everyone has seen it so yeah um, and also tell me your favourite foods or things you couldn't live without I'll be happy to hear it and discuss it with you if you want to talk to me so anyway, I feel like I'm blabbering again because I'm tired, I guess. get tired from doing nothing. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Michelle, you've been listening, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!